uh, the spool holder's installed. The bed's already in place. Let's turn this on and see what happens. Well, in just a few steps, we will help you set up your new ulti maker. The instructions here are saying it's going to walk us through inserting these print cores. Carefully open the print head and fan brackets. Okay, so you already have one AA already installed. So then that way, with two AAs, you can do two different materials. Uh, so whether that one be PLA and ABS, or two different colors simultaneously of the same material, or in this case for the demo, we also want to show you how to use the support structure. So you're going to be using the BB core as well. So carefully open the bracket. And a print core head AA has been detected in head slot one. And there's also colors up here coming up. Since they're blue, I'm assuming that's good. If they were red, I'm just going to go with that they're bad. But we got that in place. Next step is to load the printer with materials. Okay, so we're gonna place spool number two in the back here and load it into the feeder in the back here as well. I'm gonna hit enter on the screen. The instructions are telling me that it detected it. So it's gonna heat up the print core so we can load the material in it as well. And we're about heated up here for the print core two to insert the PVA material. It should be right now. I'm just gonna load that into the back. Just give it a quick push and the motor does the rest. It might be a little difficult to see with a clear filament and a clear tube. But it always stops quite close to the very top and it's gonna slowly feed itself in. So we're almost there. And we're basically just going to have to wait for the material to start extruding. What we are seeing here, this is old material from the test print before the ultimakers were sent out. Every ultimaker gets tested, in this case with both core heads, to make sure that everything's functioning and calibrated correctly. Okay, so once you've hit uh, the ultimaker 3 to set up for the Wi-Fi, just got to find whatever Wi-Fi network it's called itself. Just connect that with your computer through Wi-Fi, and this is the page you're gonna see when it starts up. So we're just gonna start the Wi-Fi setup, and it's gonna take us through. We're currently based in the Netherlands. We're in Amsterdam specifically. Okay, we're just gonna connect to our shop network here, which is our local makers. Okay, the instructions on the screen are saying that once this connection's made through the Wi-Fi, this should be closing and be checking the screen. And instead of saying cancel as it did before, it shows that it's connected to our Wi-Fi and that we can then hit continue. And with every Ultimaker, the free software, which is the slicing software, is called Cura. It's one of the most common used slicers in the world at the moment. And with the most recent update, when you're adding a printer, the very first option is either Ultimaker 3 or Ultimaker 3 Extended. Uh, many other companies with their printers adapt the Cura to function on their uh, printers as well. So this is one of the more popular and also one of the more reliable slicers as well. Whether you're a full expert or a beginner and this would be your first print, this is the right slicer to use for all these things as well. So we're going to load a quick file onto this USB stick and then we're going to show you a time lapse of the Ultimaker 3 in action.